Yo, this is Anthony from Rocket Prince, and thanks for watching this video. Can't believe we're already here in 2023. Thanks again for all the support last year, leaving comments. I greatly appreciate it. With that, in this tutorial, we are going to stitch out a winter bear on a tan sweater. We're going to use my Rakoma 2002 machine, and we're also going to set it up in Chroma Plus. We're going to transfer it back to my 2002 Rakoma machine. So hope y'all like this video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And with that, if you want the best benefit to this tutorial, stick around to the very end. So with that, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, so today we are going to work with this winter bear, sleep like a winter bear, and you can see that we're going to be using these colors. Now granted, I don't have the exact colors on my machine, but we're going to try to make the best out of what we have to mimic these colors, okay? So it looks like they're using 1899 Vegas Gold, uh, 462 Brown, 1950 White. 132 brown and 406181 I'm sorry white um this stitch out is going to be 8791 stitches we're going to use three colors the height is going to be 2.67 inches and the width is 4.01 all right so not bad we're going to go and work on a sweater with this one and then we're going to see how this turns out um, hope y'all like this video and we are going to use Chroma Plus. So I got Chroma up already. So I'm just going to drag it in here so we can see what we're working with. And obviously when you open up Chroma and you, you, um, insert the image, it's not going to give you the colors that you want it. You're going to have, if you want to see the actual layout, you got to, you got to actually put the in the colors in yourself. Okay. But in all reality, you don't really need to put the colors in you do that really when you're on your machine okay so this is it this is what it's going to look like and like i said it's going to be 8734 stitches and we're going to go and do that so with that i'm just going to make sure that i turn on my recoma machine which i'm going to do right now and then i'm going to press this button and this is the print preview uh, I'm sorry, what I'm, <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit send to machine. So I'm going to click on this button, hit send to machine, and then it's going to, it's going to transfer this into my Rakoma machine. So if you do, if you're new to Rakoma and you have a machine and you're, you don't have it set up, what you're doing right now is you're using this USB and you're transferring your image onto here then you have to pop this out and you got to go put it into the 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 machine itself and then you got to download it it's easier doing it this way where you already have it set up it's already it's already um wi-fi compatible and you just click on this machine this you click on this button here send a machine okay it saves a lot of time instead of transferring usb to machine and if you get something wrong, you have to um, you have to take this out, go back to your computer, re-download it. No, if you mess up, all you gotta do is simply walk over to your computer, redesign it, size it up correctly or whatever, and then go ahead and inst uh, go ahead and just hit um, send the machine again, and it's already sent. Okay, so cool feature. Don't go home without it because it's a great tool. All right, so with that. This is what it's going to look like. Now let's go ahead and turn on the Rakoma and let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and go to send machine, send to machine, Rakoma 2002. And we're just going to hit send. And it's that simple. And it's done. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to print out the run sheet so I can take it with me. So we can go ahead and get that set up. All right. So we can get all the colors set up. So I'm going to print that off. Um, let's go ahead and hit, we're going to transfer this to my printer 
and get that set up. All right, guys, so since the image is 4.1, we're gonna go and use the Mighty Hoops, which is a 5.5. Should be able to handle this sweater. This is the sweater that we're gonna be using. And we're gonna go ahead and upload that image into my Recoma machine. If you can see here, we got the pad. It's kind of like a iPad, you wanna say. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get that all set up. We're gonna use head number one. You can see that. And we're gonna use all the colors that we can think that can possibly match what we got going on with those colors. I think I got it pretty much set up. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and go from there. So with that, if you haven't seen um, the Rokomas or if you're looking to get a Rokoma, um, this is a great machine. The only thing that I can say right now for myself is I am not quite there using both heads at the same time with multiple customers. I'm working on that and as soon I'm sure it's gonna be taking off. So little by little, I've been using this thing. It's been working for me, I'm still, trying to to my whole thing about this is i want to start pumping out caps i'm getting there and i'm looking for a great year with 2023 to go ahead and start um, making my dream come true okay so with that like i said this was the mighty hoops and uh, here and this is some, this is like a a, a lifesaver okay when it comes to um, straight when it comes to getting your images straight in the middle of where you want the design whether it's going to be in the middle or it's going to be in the left chest right chest um, this mighty hoops is a lifesaver so i recommend that if you do get a machine save your money and get one of these two because it's going to help you out especially if you're new like me it's going to help you out and it's going to help you develop your skills to become a better embroidery skill set person all right so with that let's go ahead and go back to the machine let's go ahead and go back to the computer and let's see if it's finished down there. all right it's okay done. so now we're going to clear this old image out we're just going to unlock it we are going to go back to design and look for the new one winter bear select okay all right now we're just gonna go ahead and um send it to the okay now it's straight and we are ready so next thing we're gonna do is select our colors so we're looking at first color is gonna be vegas gold so i got a gold over here if you can see so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's going to be number seven. So let's go to our colors. And we are going to do, so it's only telling, it's only, um, there's, there's um, five colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to make number one is going to be seven. Okay. Number two is a brown, so we're looking for a brown. We got brown in the back, so that's gonna be eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's gonna be number 12. All right, okay. Next one's gonna be a standard white, which is, we got white, that's gonna be three. All right. And then we're going to back to brown again, which is gonna be 12. And we're going to white again, so that's gonna be number three. And that's it. So just to double check, we're looking at um, gold is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, brown is gonna be 12, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I think we're good, and the white is three. All right, guys, I think we got our colors now. All right, the cool thing about this is we don't need a whole lot of um, uh, tear away. And I believe I have some strips that I saved a while back. So just going to use some of this. 
And this is the cool thing about this. So all you need to do is just put it down. Put your strip here. And just close this up. Okay. And it's already set. That's the easy part. You don't have to worry about going underneath the sweater and doing all that crazy stuff on my last video. This Hope Master is like, is the bomb. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead. And, well, what I need to do is I'm gonna center this. So I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna put it in, we'll do, Number seven, if you can see that, I find it at number seven. Okay, that's gonna give me my, my um, that's gonna let me know where it's actually gonna be. So I want it somewhere centered in the middle of the sweater. And then we're gonna take the sweater now. Go ahead and put it in here. And if you don't like the where it's set, then you can actually just move it, see? Yeah. There, now I'm just gonna try to align it. And from here, here is where it's gonna be. It's already centered for you. See how cool this is? It's gonna be right in there, right there. All I need to do now is just take the hoop, make, hoop made, Set it right there. Okay, now that I have it set, all I need to do is just push down. And it is, it's ready to go. That's how easy this thing is. That's how stupid easy it is. Now I'm ready to start stitching, all right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do, when you, if you're a beginner, you always gotta make sure you're double checking. I would suggest you make some kind of cross check. Make sure that you're not, you're not grabbing the bottom part. You wanna make sure that this is separated from the bottom and the top. Okay, so you're not stitching both of them together. Now that that's set up, we're gonna hit the trace on the computer. Okay, it's a little off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just move it a little bit more to the to the center where I think it's centered, about right there. And then we'll go ahead and hit trace again. There we go. All right, last thing that I wanna do is make sure that all my thread, everything's intact. So you can see this one's loose. And are we using this one? No, we're not. But we're using, we're, we wanna make sure that all the threads that we have, we're using, right? So like this one's kind of, it is it's loose in here so it would be either you want to set it back up or you just want to make sure that it's not in the way when it's actually threading so remember we want to use number three so is number three set up yes we were using number that was eight nine ten eleven twelve we we're using number twelve is number 12 set up number 12 set up okay and then also lastly we were using gold which was going to be one two three four five six seven is number seven set up number seven is so with that i think we're ready to go and we can go ahead and start stitching <music> for 
off the magnetic strip and then what we're going to do is pull this off Set again. all right and then this was tear away that i used so like i said before you just tear it away okay that's pretty simple and let's go back see how this came out like a winter bear looks good looks real good centered and um, really like this one thanks again for watching this video and if you did like this video please remember to like share subscribe leave a comment I greatly appreciate it with that stay tuned for my next video next week thanks again for watching and peace